Mr. Potato Head in School Rush. Ask an adult to help. Give the door a good tap or two to see if anyone's home. Welcome to the Parts Emporium! Wait, don't you have school today? Of course you do! Well, don't worry, I'll get you there in a hurry! Hold the phone! School starts when? Oh my, that's so soon! Too soon! Whoa! Sorry, get all shook up sometimes! Okay, we've got time, but now can you help me get myself back together? Drag my pieces and drop them on my body! Great! Or you could use the parts of matic That handy machine can help me get ready for anything! Pull the lever to use the parts of matic This won't work. Pull the lever to use the parts of Matic. Aha! Wait! This won't work. Pull the lever to use the parts of Matic. Looking good and right on schedule. See, honey? Let's peel out of here. Maybe not the best choice of words now that I think of it. Aren't you forgetting something? Rhymes with blackjack? A snack hack? What's that? A better way to eat celery? <laughs> Try again. Backpack, of course. And here it is. Okay, what do you need to bring to school? Don't forget anything. Drag items with a pencil. I get the point. Colorful crayons! Hooray! An arm? Hey, that's mine! But okay, I've got a spare. <laughs> that's all you have room for! We've really gotta go! Great! Say, I think this would be the perfect opportunity to try out my new rocket roller skates! Lunch and homework packed? Backpack on tight? Can you hold my hand? Because I just started learning to skate. All right, here we go! Let's try that again. Can you help me out with these skates? Help me move by tilting the device. in the sidewalk. Can you put me back together and step on it? Well, not literally. <laughs> Drag my pieces and drop them on my body. Great! I need a little more practice on these skates. Let's return to my parts emporium to see if there is something else that can help us get to school quickly. Here we are. Oh dear, we mustn't dilly-dally. Ah, I know. Can you get me that pirate hat? Great! Avast! I mean, thank you! Now we're getting somewhere! We'll take a schooner to school! I call this my aye aye captain look! <laughs> Ooh, wouldn't some pirate treasure be a nifty thing to bring for show and tell today? Maybe this jeweled crown? Yeah. 
Boy, pirates are so sensitive. Arr, swim with the fishes. Can you get me ready for an underwater adventure? Great! Well, if we get to school late, your excuse note is gonna be a doozy. I've done it! I've gotten you to school! To a school of fish, that is. See, that's what they call a group of fish. Uh, oh, never mind. This undersea walking is far too slow. Say, maybe we can make a wish. I wish for a giant fish! Or a giant seahorse. Well, giddy up, partner. This is our chance. Hand me that rope as fast as you can. Great. was a wild ride. If only there was a seahorse that could travel on land. <laughs> oh well, I've got a better idea anyway. The parts emporium is just around the corner. Follow me. What's this? Construction is blocking the way? Looks like we're gonna need to put on our hard hats. Can you help me out? Great, now we're ready to go. And look at this. A pogo stick! This will get us back to the Emporium in no time! That was one powerful pogo stick! <laughs> oh, hello, dear. Forget something? No, I mean, yes, these arms are all wrong for school going. Hate to start an arms race, but I need race arms. And I need my helmet. Can you grab those for me? Good. For a second there, I thought maybe you got lost. Lost? Me? Never! Let's go! It's time to stop fooling around and get on something really fast! Luckily, we have everything we need right here. I can always pull a wrench out of my supplies. Help me make a rocket car. Great! This rocket car will get us to school in a flash. Tap the turbo thrusters to give us a boost. are very strong. Um, can you get me a space helmet? Thanks. Great! Outer space. No matter how fast our rocket car is, this is the long route. Hmm, 93 million miles from the sun to the earth. That planet is Saturn. So we're about 746 million miles from school. If we go 100 miles per hour, I should get you there in time for the 11th grade. In math class, they call that long division. Very, very long division. <laughs> Look, space aliens! And they don't seem friendly. Luckily, I always keep some spare parts handy. Make me look like them, okay? Then maybe they won't be scared of us. There, see? We're not so different, Mr. Friendly Space Alien. What? What are they trying to tell me? Umbrella, it's raining? How can it be raining in outer space? Uh, oh, intergalactic meteor shower! Shake our spaceship's proton accelerator so we can zoom back to Earth! Give the device a big shake to get our spaceship's proton accelerator going! Give the Whoa!
Well, I guess if you're gonna crash land, it's nice to crash land in your own shop. But golly, we're getting nowhere fast. Would you mind putting me back together again? Uh, just two arms this time, thanks. <laughs> you have any ideas? Well, why so quiet? Why are you just flapping your mouth at me? I'll just have to think of something on my own. Ah, ears! Now I'm listening. You think I should try one more thing? You just can't wait to get to school! Welcome back. Thank you, dear. You know, if you can't get to school, we could always bring school... To you! In this box. I have a perfect thing. It won't bring you to the school, but it will bring the school to you. What a good idea. Just some instant out of the box thinking. But now we begin with our first lesson, how to take care of seahorses. And later we'll have show and tell. One potato, two potato, three potato, four. Why isn't your nose 12 inches long? Because then it would be a foot. Shakespeare's Julius Caesar, act three, scene two. Lend me your ears. Want to see me get all shook up? Shake to see what happens. 